Greetings, Magnesites. Your leader returns. The God that wields the dark mule returns to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. And I have my new cloak of wisdom. That's right. I got this from Freak of Nature Clothing. And I will be doing a review on the colors that I got. You are seeing the royal red color, which I worked out in today. And um, let's, let's answer this young woman's question today, Magnusites. Stay tuned for the Freak of Nature hoodie collection review. By the way, you need instructions on how to send me a question Look in the description box and pay attention to the directions, okay? Cool. Says, hey, Tyrone. So, I've been connected with this man from overseas for at least five months. He is from the UK. I met him online. We hit it off amazingly well, and we're texting every single day. Anytime either of us had free time, we would be texting. We even compromised with time zone differences by me waking up a little early to talk to him and him staying up a little extra late to talk to me. That's cool, that's committed. Um, after talking to each other for about two months without any significant amount of flirting, just to getting to know each other, things got to the point where a lot of our conversations turned into flirting. And throughout that third month, we even started talking about him coming to visit me. Uh -huh. He is a few years older than me, and starting in January, 2015, he is going to be living in Australia for a year. And then in January 2016, he is coming to the U.S. for a year. By his own choice, he said, I will be the first place that he lands. And he wants to spend a lot of time with me to get to know me. So the possibility of us meeting in person was 100% possible. Sounds like it was 100% given. It was going to happen. So let's see what else you got to say, young lady. By this point, we were saying I love you to each other, which was initiated by him. I purposely made sure not to say anything of that sort first so I wouldn't scare him away. We even talked about a future with each other and how determined we were to make it happen when we were able to be together again. Together, again, initiated by him. In the past four or five months, our conversations started to escalate more, where we would send each other more sexually explicit videos just because we were not there with each other in person to be able to do those things. I forgot to add earlier that from the beginning of us meeting, he would frequently send me snaps on Snapchat throughout the day. I never failed to wake up to multiple snaps from him. Anyways... At no point did he ever seem to be becoming distant from me, and vice versa. He always seemed extremely excited to talk to me, and contacted me all the time, until a week and a half ago. He just stopped. I sent him my usual good morning text, and nothing through the rest of the day. I didn't want to send multiple texts because I'm not the person, the type of person to harass someone by contacting them multiple times. If he has his phone, he made the, let me see, if he has, if he, if he has his phone, he made the uncomfortable decision to send a second text saying that it was not fair to just drop, wait a minute, and by that point, I made the uncomfortable decision to send a second text saying that it was not fair to just drop someone like that without any explanation. No response to that either. And still until this day, nothing. Every single day though, I can clearly see he is viewing my Snap stories on Snapchat and is on his Facebook. Why did he out of literally nowhere stop talking to me without explanation? He always seems so excited and eager. And then the next day, nothing. I am just so extremely confused and hurt by this and disturbed. 
that I don't have any explanation to back up his actions. I'd really like to get your opinion. Well, remember the story that I did about the girl who, um, who uh, was the worst coochie that I've ever had on the planet? I'll post that in the description box. Um, I talked about how she disappeared on me. It, we, we, and we actually met. And um, it was weird. Everything was going well. Woke up and talked to each other. When we would talk to each other on the phone, it'd be for three hours at a time, literally. I mean, we really got along really well. Something's fucking wrong with her, I've learned today, okay? Something could be wrong with him. At the same time, you already know what the default is. You two are thousands of miles apart. And that's fucked up for him to just stop talking to you like that without any reason. He's probably dealing with someone else. That's what I think it could be. Or he could be getting scared. He could be starting to have really strong feelings for you. And he does not know how to handle it. That could be it too. But someone who loves you, someone who cares for you, for you someone who's considered not selfish, is going to let you know what is going on and why. I have never done that to anyone in my life. But I know people that have done that to people. And I think it's very selfish and very inconsiderate. Just like I dealt with, with that woman. He probably ain't the man for you. And you probably want to leave this alone. There are pieces of shit that do this to people throughout life. It has happened to guys and girls that I know. Where they're talking to someone and they just disappear. It's over after that. I don't know why, and I'm sorry that you're going through this pain. Make sure you go to tapping.com, learn EFT to get rid of the sorrow, the hurt, the pain, and the depression he is causing you, and just move on. That's my, um, you know, uh, advice to you as a Magnusita, one of my followers. I don't want you to stay hurting, but I'm sorry that you're going through this pain, okay? So, Magnusites, a lot of times y'all agree with everything that I have to say, but sometimes y'all add a little two cents. Give your two cents to your fellow Magnusite down below in the comments section. Let her know what y'all think it could be. I think he's messing with another girl or something is wrong with him emotionally to the point where he can't tell you why he's doing what he's doing. Maybe somebody killed this monkey ass and is has assumed his identity, but I doubt that that's happening and that's why he's on Facebook and he sees your Snapchats, but he's not responding because he's dead and he's in the closet wrapped in plastic and the other person is just reading your stuff because he's trying to become him. So, anyway, um, I'm not trying to be fun. Well, yeah, I'm trying to give you a little bit of lightheartedness to it. But, uh, yeah, <sighs> I'm sorry you're going through this, girl. One million subscribers. Woo!